Clinton won big last night. She went through and won seven states. But, you know, she struggled to get the voters out. Democrat turnout across the country, look at it, down in every single race. Harley Lippmann is here. He's a Clinton supporter. He's the man. He usually smiles. Yeah. No, there you go. There Thank you very you much go. indeed. So, are you not I mean, surely a little concerned? when Democrat turnout is down so much and Republican turnout for Trump is up so much. I'm not concerned at all because you're <laughs> comparing... You can't just dismiss it just like that. Not at all because you're comparing it to Obama and that was unprecedented. You had an African-American running for the presidency. So that galvanized people more than one would think. So it's like kind of a false analogy, if you will. It's a false comparison. Yeah, false comparison. Um, you're not at all worried, then, if it's Trump, Hillary, you you're think... Are kidding that... me? Oh, oh, Do you know what? The oh, Democrats oh, will come out... Passion. Here yeah, you'll get the passion. If it's Trump and Hillary, the Democrats will come out in droves, especially given the Supreme Court issues. There'll be overwhelmingly huge Democratic turnout. She wins in a landslide, you think? No, I think it'll be a close election. <laughs> I, know. I do never underestimate your competition, right? Why aren't you a Republican? Because you are a, re <laughs> no, you're a relatively conservative dem Democrat. You used to be a, a guy that I would associate with Scoop Jackson and, and the very, very centrist Democrats of the last generation. Right. If they were alive today, they would be Republicans. Why aren't you a Republican? I think <laughs> half the country is Democrat. And I think within the Democratic Party, you have to keep them centrist. Your party, that your wing of the Democrat Party is dead, isn't it? I don't think so. Yes, it is. It may appear that way, but I don't think that's the case. It does appear that way. <laughs> you are out on a limb. You are a relatively moderate, fairly conservative Democrat, and you are at odds with the vast bulk of your party. Hillary Clinton wants to tax more, spend more, run up the debt, give stuff away. She's more like Bernie Sanders than you. No, I think that she'll be tough on foreign policy. I think she'll <coughs> moderate in office. And I think in terms of she voter didn't turnout... She did terribly well no, as but, Secretary of State, No, but, but think about this. In terms of voter turnout, 35% 30, uh, of the Republican Party say that they will not vote for Trump if he's the candidate. Yet most people who support Bernie Sanders say they will vote for Hillary Clinton if she's a candidate. Could you, could you support Donald Trump? Would you, could you vote for him? No. Absolutely not. No absolutely way. No, not. No, no, absolutely no way. Absolutely not. What happens if Hillary is indicted? Well, let's see when that happens. Well, of course, that bridge we come to it. No, but I think that one, I don't think that'll happen. I don't think the evidence is there. And when people talk about all the hacking that took place, back then that wasn't a major issue. Now we know it's a problem. Remember, the U.S. government was hacked into with all their firewalls and security systems. I notice you turn to the camera. You address <laughs> No, I turn to your colleagues. <laughs> no, 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 no. You turn to the camera. You're, what you're doing is you're subordinating the jury. That's what you're doing. You're, you're polluting the voter pool. That's what you're doing, Harley. No, people have come out for Hillary if it's against Trump. Are you kidding me? They'll be terrified of Trump and the Supreme Court issue. I couldn't stop him. He's running all the way to the break time. That's yes. the way it goes. More Varney after this. <laughs>